Minutes ago, law enforcement sources identified Nadir Sufi as the second gunman. Officials told CNN earlier in the day Elton Simpson from Phoenix was the other shooter. CNN Justice correspondent Pamela Brown is live in Garland, Texas. Pamela, law enforcement had at least one of the gunmen on their radar dating all the way back to 2006. That's right. We know one of them, Elton Simpson, was on the FBI's radar, that there was an open investigation on him. But sources tell me there was no indication that Simpson and his roommate and accomplice Nadir Sufi were planning this attack, even though just hours before they arrived here in the black car behind me, one of them sent an ominous text. Investigators searched the Arizona home of Elton Simpson and Nadir Sufi today, looking for clues that led to Sunday's foiled attack. God bless the incident occurred in a Dallas suburb at a controversial art exhibit showing cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. Obviously, they were there to shoot people. We were actually walking out, and the officer starts blowing a whistle, and they're telling people to get down. Police say the two men pulled up to the parking lot in a dark-colored sedan. A police officer and a security guard stationed there gone out of their police vehicle. The attackers jumped out of their car wearing bulletproof vests and started shooting from assault rifles. The police officer shot back, killing both suspects. Under the fire that uh, he was put under, he did a very good job and probably saved lives. It's just gonna take a Security moved the 200 people attending the controversial event to a secure location. None of the attendees were hurt. Simpson is believed to have sent this tweet just hours before the attack with the hashtag Texas attack. He also linked himself to a known British-born ISIS fighter who later went on to tweet out details of the attack. Simpson was the focus of an FBI terrorism investigation for several years. In 2011, he was found guilty for lying about his plans to travel to Somalia to engage in violent jihad. And we learned from a law enforcement official that recently the FBI reopened an investigation into Simpson, but it's unclear the extent to what she was being monitored. Less is known about his roommate, Nadir Sufi. But Jake, I can tell you law enforcement was concerned about this controversial event. In fact, just a few days ago, the FBI and DHS sent out a warning to law enforcement agencies across the country about potential threats related to this event.